Have you ever done something just because a grown-up told you to, even if it felt a little weird? Like maybe your teacher said, everyone sit down, and you sat down without even thinking about it? Well, long time ago, a scientist named Stanley Milgram wanted to know just how far people would go when someone in charge told them what to do. So he set up an experiment. Imagine you walk into a room, and a man in a white lab coat looking very official tells you you're part of a memory test. In another room, there's another person, the learner, who you can hear but can't see. Your job is to ask the learner questions. Every time they get one wrong, the scientist tells you to press a button that gives them a little electric shock. Each wrong answer means a stronger shock. Now, here's the secret. The learner was actually an actor, and the shocks were totally fake. They would just pretend to be in pain, yelling ouch, and eventually begging for it to stop. The real test was on you. Would you keep pressing the button just because the scientist in the lab coat kept saying, the experiment requires that you continue? You might think, no way, I'd stop immediately. But guess what? A shocking number of people, almost two-thirds, went all the way to the highest voltage just because the authority figure told them to. They felt really stressed and unhappy about it, but they still obeyed. This is called obedience to authority. It's the reason why soldiers follow orders in battle, or why we might follow a rule at work even if we don't fully agree with it. We're taught from a young age to respect authority figures like parents, teachers, and police officers. Our brains see them as credible and powerful, so we often trust their judgment over our own, especially in a new or confusing situation. It's like our sense of personal responsibility gets handed over to the person in charge. Think about it in your own life. Have you ever agreed with your boss on a project you secretly thought was a bad idea? Or maybe followed a fashion trend just because everyone else was doing it and an influencer said it was cool? That's a small-scale version of what Nogram saw. It shows us how powerful social pressure and authority can be. The study teaches us something incredibly important. Ordinary people can do some pretty extraordinary and sometimes not so great things when they're just following orders. It's a good reminder to always think for ourselves and question things, even when the person telling you what to do seems like they know everything. So here is a question for you to think about. Where do you draw the line between following rules and following your own conscience? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more simple explanations of big ideas.